Hello, welcome back to another video. I've got a homeware haul for you today and some little toys. I just love the first shot you're going to see <laughs> is a duck and this lion. And I think, I mean, the lion's super cute. But I did a online order for George Home and um, it arrived. And then when I was getting food from Asda last week, I also picked up some Easter bits for my nephew. And I wanted to share those with you as well. So I do have, there's a couple of clothes items as well, which I'm going to get my hubby to like hold up so you can see um what i've brought as well because i've bought like a handbag and stuff but i'm going to talk you through these little toy bits first and we'll get into the homeware the bubble ones now all of the reason i picked all this up partly one was two reasons really one is because i didn't want to buy an easter egg for him i didn't want to get him chocolate i think he's gonna have loads of easter eggs so i wanted to get him something a bit more fun and a bit more colorful and then the other the second thing is these were a really good price so like combined they're probably the price of an easter egg but he's gonna have loads of fun with the different activities so he loves a bubble wand so i picked up the bunny bubble wand this beautiful little um bunny shaped bubble wand every like christmas or birthday or whatever i do tend to buy him these because whenever he's around here at my house he absolutely loves this and he loves like looking at the bubbles so i got him one of those for him to take like obviously keep at his house and have uh with him so i got one of those and then this was the best thing ever now this was a pound but this was three pound but i would pay this all day every day it's so good um it's like a really squishy very it's not sp uh, spiky it's very like rubber i think uh very soft but it's just a bouncy ball and it's got legs as well <laughs> little dangling legs um and little ears and i just think it's really cool i mean it's just a bouncy ball but it's colorful it's bright it's got little eyes on there it's very like interactive he can play with that and squash it and um, bounce it up and down so for three pound i thought that was really nice and then i got in one of these frogs now if you watch my last um home haul type thing from one beyond you'll know that i buy these and they never work you meant to twist them and they jump i've actually got this haul on the shorts video like a quick summary of what i bought so you can see them there it actually jumps on that video but this one i'm not gonna be able to get it to jump but this was a pound and i thought we could twist this up and then it'll just like leap and he'll probably find that really fun and then i also got this for a pound now this was really good this is a mini ball like the american footballs and i just thought for the garden because we're going into spring now aren't we and um, he can have this i'm sure he's got plenty of footballs in fact i know he's got plenty of outdoor toys um at his house so we can just add that like, to the collection here but something quite small but we can add it to a bigger um bag because this is obviously going into a gift bag for him so multiple things mean he's got like loads of things that can pique his interest i guess um so i got that and then the last thing i got for a pound was his skipping rope now i think he's slightly too young to be using a skipping rope at the moment um but definitely as we hit into the summer he might find this like he wants to play with it he might enjoy it i'm not sure but i just thought we'll get it for you know it's a pound so we'll get it and if he does like it he can obviously use it but if he doesn't he's definitely got friends that go around to his house so they can use it as well so yeah this was really cool just a pound they had all different colors and i picked him up the blue one so that is going to be part of his Easter box. I do have a couple of other things I picked up from Ikea for him. Um, and I'll probably end up getting some kind of little treat, maybe like a little Easter cake or an Easter biscuit or something like that for him as well. But I'm really excited to give those to him when I see him in a couple of weeks. And then I also picked up this duck. Now, I absolutely love this. I... I don't, I was going to say I collect ducks, but I definitely don't. I've got two. I had one for my birthday a few years ago. And then my husband brought me one, like just randomly, like years and years ago. And they're very much um, similar style to this. So they're just like little ornaments. So I've got two and I put them in the kitchen because they remind me of kind of like outside. And our kitchen, like doors open up obviously onto the garden, like everyone's kitchen does, I guess. Um, well, most people's kitchens. But um, yeah, so I absolutely love the ornament. It is an outdoor ornament, but I think I might just keep it in the kitchen. I might put it on the kitchen windowsill. It's very cute. It was four pound, and I thought I would treat myself to one of those. So I got one of those. And then I also got a few things from the Stacey Solomon range. So I picked up this Hello Spring. Now, this was £4. I love this. I'm decorating for spring now. So it is Saturday today. It's Mother and Sunday tomorrow. Um, that's like the weekend that I'm on filming this. And I'm going to decorate for spring. I've got all my spring boxes out of the garage and Easter boxes as well. And I'm just going to make the house really pretty. So I'm excited to put this out. I think I'm going to put this in the dining room. And I'll probably do a little quick shorts or something um, just to kind of show you where everything is. But yeah, I really love it. It says Hello Spring and I love the green at the back. And I quite like the oak, like not the oak, sorry, the wood as 
as well. Usually these kind of things are like either plastic or I don't know, they don't look as nice, but this has got like the beading down. It's really, really pretty for four quid. So I got that and then I picked up this first. Now this was, tw I think it was 25 pound. It was quite expensive really, but it's absolutely humongous. It's, I don't think the footage on the video is going to quite do it some justice really for the size of it, but it is huge. And I saw this and I kind of wondered whether or not to get it. It's got that kind of uh, very rough texture um, and it's quite a bright white. I thought it was a bit more cream and then obviously when it's arrived it's you know quite a striking white but I do like it I love the size of it it's a very chunky vase I've got some eucalyptus I've always have eucalyptus in this house and I've definitely got some in storage so I'll be able to put some eucalyptus up and just have it out here um, and it's going to go in the lounge because I've just brought up the sideboard from the kitchen I've brought a new kitchen sideboard which isn't arriving for another week or so and then the kitchen sideboard that was downstairs I've actually brought up to the lounge so we've got a bit more storage in the lounge now so I thought this might go on there and just look really pretty so I picked up that I'm sure once I put all this out I'll do another shorts video and I'll show you everything it is I love making the little shorts videos if you've never seen them before on my channel if you go onto the shorts section you can see like pat lunches and all sorts on there and then I saw these and I think these were £10 I think these are going to fly off the shelf when I went to the supermarket they had none left but I did mine on an online order they are are these storage boxes so they're literally the fabric boxes that look like books and I absolutely love them I don't buy two I've never I don't think I've ever bought anything from the Stacey Solomon I know she's had like two Solomon sorry two um collections like ranges out and I don't think I brought anything from the first one um the second one I was nothing really piqued my interest until I went in store and saw like the Easter stuff like the spring decor there's some really nice beautiful things there so when I saw these online actually I was looking on the website first before I went to the store I just fell in love with them and then when I went to store they had none of the books so I did an online order but yeah these are so nice so you know that I've talked if you watch any of my videos I talk a lot about my um, lounge kind of decor and how I like a neutral decor palette I definitely like creams and whites in there. There's a bit of pop of pink, but mainly very neutral. Um, and I think these will go perfect on my shelves. So once I put them out on the shelves, I'll show you what they look like on a shorts video. Or I'll do a long video of like how I decorate or something like that. I'll definitely show you. But yeah, I just thought these are super nice. Uh, the green one, I don't really have anything green, but I fit in the lounge. But I feel like I could probably get away with that anyway. Like it's not too in your face it's quite like a subtle green and very neutral and it goes with like the other two as well so it, as a set it doesn't look too obvious that that's like green because i've got nothing green in the lounge um but yeah they're really really nice so they're just storage books i guess you can collect all of your little memories in there photographs things like that i literally am going to use them as book decor on a shelf i think they'll go, just be absolutely beautiful so i got those and then a few of the things i wanted to share with you that i got from asda I picked up this handbag. So this is, I think I was going to get my husband to help me, but he's now left the room. So I'm going to just do this one handed. But this is a straw handbag. Now this was £20 and I picked this up ready for the summer really and for the summer holiday that we have got um, planned. I just wanted like, the thing is with Asda, if you see something, it'll go really quickly. So you have to be really quick. At, they, they don't tend to keep things on the website. Once they're out of stock, that's it. They, they don't really kind of restock an item. They'll just bring something out similar, um, like a new thing. And I didn't want to miss this like in a few weeks time get it when it was summer and then it'd be completely not there anymore so I've learned that lesson over time if I see something that I definitely want then I will pick it up not like expensive things I mean this was 20 pound it is a lot of money but you know I don't like I'm not a person that kind of buys branded handbags or anything like that I don't really shop design or anything like that I've got one designer handbag from Florida <laughs> a Michael Kors one which we got from the outlets and that is my favorite bag of all time but I never use it because I'm like it's a designer handbag that he's got to stay upstairs in the wardrobe um but yeah I, I, again i'm waffling now with handbags but this was 20 quid right it's got the little pocket in the front it's very um it's well it's huge it's absolutely huge but i feel like it's very stylish it's just the two color palettes in the black and the cream and then it's got these handles here which you can see quite decent handles actually fairly 
big in size and then if you just look inside it's literally just one big bag there's no like compartment well, there's a little zip but there's no like middle compartment but I just think for summer it's such a huge bag if I was going um even just not on holiday I'm just talking like going to the a park with some friends or having a little picnic or something like that we do we've been, we've gone to the beach before um as a friendship group so I feel like this would be a really good beach bag maybe that I could take with me um but yeah I absolutely love it I could not pass up on it so I got that for 20 pound and then I got this jumper now I absolutely love this it was 14 pound when it's arrived I realized it's a little bit see-through so I'm gonna have to be careful like with the uh, things that I wear underneath um, I'm gonna definitely have to wear a like kind of neutral like skin tone bra and I might even have to wear a vest underneath I'll see but yeah I absolutely love the color of that blue so it's just a very simple basic jumper it's quite thin but it's really soft um, and it was only 14 pound and I feel like jumper weather is still here I know like autumn tends to be kind of like a winter like jumper weather and I'm even wearing a jumper today because it's it's nice outside the sun's out but it is quite cold still so I feel like you still need to have like your layers on until it warms up a little bit um, and this will be perfect for going into spring and even summer because in the summer if you're not from the UK we is a weird like weather situation we either have like two weeks of blazing hot sunshine and then we'll have six weeks of rain or we have no sunshine and we'll have sunshine in September it's a bit bizarre um we do get a, a rain quite a lot as well um so definitely things like this where you can layer up or like obviously if you wear a top underneath you can then just take this off if it gets a bit too warm but yeah it's really soft that's what kind of well the colors drew me to it online but since it's arrived I'm really happy with it because it's such a nice sort of soft texture and that's I think everything that I picked up I did get two things from a garden center I'll show you while I'm vlogging so I got this every bunny welcome this is a little easter decorative accessory this was I think um 8.99 which in hindsight is quite a lot of money really for a little easter decorative um piece but it's going to go in the dining room again I'll do a short video and I'll show you what that looks like and then I also got this that says the hunt is on and it's literally just a little wooden thing I've actually because I go to the garden center regular I've actually brought the like autumn kind of halloween one of this and the christmas one and I, I the halloween one I put out on the little tiered tray and the christmas one I put on my hot chocolate station so my easter one is just going to go on the dining table as part of the decor there but I thought it was really cute and that was 2 dollars which wasn't too bad of a price really for what it is it's just a little wooden plaque I suppose but that is really pretty I love that and that is the end of the haul I hope that you've enjoyed seeing what I've brought this time it was a little bit chaotic so I thought I was going to have an assistant but he's disappeared so thank you so much for watching um enjoy the rest of your day take care if check out my shorts channel like in the next couple of days if you're interested of how I kind of put this out in the lounge if not I'll probably just do a video of the house of how I've put all the new stuff out so maybe you can see what it kind of looks like there if you're interested but anyway enjoy your weekend enjoy your week take care and I'll see you in the next video bye